Wisconsin's climate is changing. Our state has become warmer and wetter over the past 60 years, according to research conducted for the Wisconsin Initiative on Climate Change Impacts. What our state is seeing is consistent with a well-documented global trend. In fact, 2010 tied for the warmest year since record-keeping began in the mid-1800s. Last year also broke the global record for total precipitation. Scientists at the University of Wisconsin-Madison have analyzed data from 176 weather stations across the state to measure what's been happening here. Using weather information gathered every day from 1950 through 2006, they found that, statewide, Wisconsin's average annual temperature rose by about 1 degree Fahrenheit. The northwestern part of the state warmed the most. One degree may not sound like much of a change, but this seemingly modest overall temperature increase coincides with a number of effects. For example, the ice covering our lakes doesn't last as long. Some bird species arrive earlier in the spring, and many plants bloom earlier too. Wisconsin's winters have warmed more than any other season, with a two and a half degree Fahrenheit average increase across the state. Northwestern Wisconsin has warmed by four and a half degrees in winter. And there are fewer extremely cold days in our state. Some parts of Wisconsin now see as many as 20 fewer nights with temperatures below zero. Warmer temperatures also mean that the last spring freeze is occurring earlier and that the first fall frost is occurring later than usual. The result is a longer growing season. 12 days longer on average than in 1950. The scientists also found that Wisconsin's annual average precipitation has increased by about 10% since 1950. That means that, on average, we receive about 3 inches more rain in a year than we might have expected during the 1950s. So what does the future hold? UW experts drew on the world's best computer models to characterize Wisconsin's future climate. They found that our state is likely to experience changes far more pronounced than those seen so far. The statewide average annual temperature is likely to increase by 4 to 9 degrees Fahrenheit by the middle of this century. Compare that to the 1 degree increase we've seen so far. We'll have many more summer days where temperatures rise above 90 degrees. And winters will continue their current trend warming more than any other season. Warmer winters mean more winter precipitation falling as rain rather than snow. Wisconsin could have more freezing rain, and snow depth and snow cover will be significantly reduced from current averages. The trend towards more intense rain events will also continue. Scientists project that by mid-century, we'll see a 25% increase in storms that produce at least two inches of rain. These changes in our state's climate could have profound effects on our natural resources, our economy, and our quality of life. Understanding the potential impacts of climate change and developing adaptation strategies could help us preserve the things we value in Wisconsin.